Hello Creative Designers and welcome on this tutorial. My name is Peter and on today's tutorial I'm, I'm just going to show you how to create a custom card page from this one to this one. You can see the change on the on the display and I'll also show you the second page that we're going to create on this tutorial is the checkout page. You can see how it, the default one, the one we had and the final one that we're going to have at the end of this tutorial yeah we're just going to use a free plugin for us to achieve this milestone before you proceed remember to hit the subscribe button if it is your first time to be in this in this channel or you haven't subscribed and you love what i do your subscription will just help me to achieve some a milestone and without further ado let's get into action and i show you how for us to be able to edit the pages uh we need to have a, a plugin so on the dashboard menu scroll scroll to where we have the uh, the button for plugin on hofa you see we have these three options select the second option and new because we're going to install a new plugin remember for all this to happen you need to have the woocommerce plugin installed and already the setup being done already so after that you need to search for the plugin it's called woocommerce block you can see the plugin has almost 2.5 out of 48 rating it has more than 200 uh, 200,000 active installation last updated one week ago. I really like the plugin because uh, out of this part eaten, but the plugin does amazing. It's from automatic, uh, the people who are behind the WooCommerce plugin. So we install the plugin. After successful installation of the plugin, we activate the plugin. After now you have activated the plugin, now we need to go to the pages because we need to edit the few pages that you're having the first page that you're going to edit is called is the cart and the checkout before we proceed i need to open the the two pages and new tab and review how they are looking so we need to have few product in the cart for us to be able to view it so we click view the cart after you open view the cart and i open the checkout on a new tab the first thing we need to see is the first page that you're going to see is this uh, the cut you can see how it will really look like and the second page that we're going to edit is the checkout you can see how the display is looking so from there now we need to select the first page is the cut click edit button after the page has opened you can see we have the WooCommerce uh, short code uh, the WooCommerce cut short code here we have it we need to delete this short code here uh, we are going to delete the block. We'll move the block like that. We are going to add uh, the new block that we're going to use. So click on this button here. We have this button. You can decide to search it from here or else you can select from this button here. And on, after you open it, scroll to where you have the WooCommerce. Now you have to see all the features that has been added uh, by this WooCommerce block. So from here, we are going to search for the cut. Click on it. You can see how it will look like. This is how your, uh, the cut will look like. Uh, and after you have uh, added the block, now you have the full cut and the empty cut. When you open on the empty cut, you can see how it will look like. Yeah. Let's first of all decide. Uh, first of all, let's first of all set the full uh, the full cut. You can decide to add it on this end here. Uh, we have the shipping calculator. You can decide to remove this shipping ad address and, and all that from there. But sometimes it is good when you have it because Kazuma can decide to change uh, the location. Or the address so on click on this button customer will be able to change the address from there you'll have this now proceed button from there after you set the block you can come to the page you can decide to set some few things here you can decide to disable the title this cut here and you can decide to disable you have a featured image you can decide to hide it you can decide to hide the footer this uh, this setting will depend on the theme that you're using after that now let's set uh the cut the empty cut here you have this button here on click you can decide to remove it so let's remove this one because i don't really like this 
emoji here so we can decide to remove the block here and you can add something like but it's all it's all for you you can say to leave it or you can say to edit it yeah it will be good like this now here you have the other button uh, browse the store you can say to remove this one and type something like back to the shop you can say to have something like that you can also decide to have it on block uh on bold like this and you can even decide to have them you can say to customize to customize it yeah text color you can say to have it even in lead no it's not changing but you can customize it like that from there now you have new install or you can say new arrival from there if you want to edit this if you want to edit this section here uh, you can come here and select the feature that you're going to use maybe the best selling product or the product category list you can say to have all of them whichever the section that you want to have in this section and after that you can be able even to edit this section here so on click on this you can decide to have the product title product price product rating you can decide to hide some of few features on this section here you can decide now to have the add to cart button this one you just need to toggle off and if you need it you just need to toggle on you can also filter by category and uh, add some few categories here yeah, from there you can hit the advance and you can add your own CSS so after that you need to we need to update the page let's get back here and open the cart in a new tab and you can see the page that we have created this is how it will look like you can see the coupon code where is uh, stationed for now and you can compare the first one and the second one that we have recreated that's how you can create a to cut page the next page now that now you're going to edit is the checkout page you can see how it will look like so we need to come here back and we come back and select the checkout click edit after it opens we need to remove the this block here with the shortcut remove the block click on this button here add block scroll or you can search from here search for checkout here you have it click on it to just insert itself you can see how it look like the first contact information yeah and you can compare even the one we have for now yeah so from here now we need to customize it from here yeah you can decide to remove this apartment uh, or the, you can add to uh, uh, address uh, address options you can decide to add the company you can see the cup company here and you can say to even remove the apartment but some companies some um, nowadays use these uh, for them to to deliver and you can also decide to remove the phone you need to only toggle this on or off to remove or to add a certain function or you can, and you have this button here uh, you can allow the shopper to have the note here this add, add your note or you can decide to remove it but it's good some some customer will need you may have that option uh you may need that option to make some reference or some clearance uh about about the delivery from there now uh you can set either full width or wide width it's up all upon you now the next thing you're going to set is disable the title this checkout here and after that the next thing that we need to do is we update and just that we need to let me open here and i open this in a new tab this is how it will look like the customer need to have the email and the second thing is customer will have the billing address here and the payment method you can see 
and customer cannot uh, customer need to set the payment method i have not already set a uh, payment method already i have not added but i just did a tutorial on how to add the payment method i'll add the link on the description after that customer will need to add some note if needed and customer need to select place an order and the other the order will be placed the other thing that has been added is this order summary here and you can compare with here and you can see even the form how it was looking and the, the one that we have just created you can just compare and see if it's uh, sound good for you to have them yeah and it's just that I think we are good to go let me let me just close on this after that we have updated now we need to get to the wordpress we need to get back to the dashboard so here you have it let me go to the visit website and we can see how it will look like yeah we have the product and we have to view them in the cart and customer need to select the proceed to checkout and after that customer need to fill all this and select the payment method customer need to press the order that how the two pages will work let's uh, let's take for instance you have just created the page and you'd have not been able to set them as the default pages for woocommerce you need to go to woocommerce on offer select the setting select advance now here you can set the pages maybe the one you have created maybe you decided not to uh, to edit the previous page you decided to create your own page for the cut page select the cut page that you want to use and the other thing is you can select the checkout page and my account you have not created my account page but maybe in the next tutorial and after that you just have to save the changes and we just start to be able to you will have sorted the WooCommerce pages. Yeah, that's how it will be done. You can also force a secure checkout. Sometimes it's good for secure payment. That's how you can set and create the cart and the checkout page all for free using a plugin. My name is Peter. Remember before before you leave, remember to hit the subscribe button and watch these tutorials that are showing on your screen. Thank you.